to invite you out here anyway first of all uh we apologize for that uh, that was definitely uh, nothing to do with southeastern uh, championship wrestling programming that on today's program however last week you were out here and uh, we did show rick was not here but uh, to refresh everyone's memory uh, a bit of videotape from bob armstrong is wanting to be your partner and you uh, openly uh, refused having anything to do with bob armstrong that's right, and uh, and I still have, I'm still at the same contention. I have nothing to do with him, and I'm going to have well, nothing to okay. do with him. Okay, before you, before you go any further with any comments on that particular matter, we have, uh, it came into our office this week, another uh, piece of videotape, and it being from Bullet Bob Armstrong. Let's take a look at it. In well, the middle of last January, I was wondering if I'd ever be able to smell pretty flowers like this or take another breath through my nose. People were telling me I never would be able to. But somebody up there likes me, and I got a second chance. I can smell these flowers. I can breathe nice and easy. But it made me realize that accidents and injuries don't always happen to the other fellow. It can happen to you personally. So when I got to the hospital, I started settling debts, settling scores, even up things with people I thought I owed. And Ron Fuller, that's why I'm here today. I owe you a debt. I feel I'm squared away with your brother, Robert. I'm squared away with your your uh, Jimmy Golden, your cousin. I'm squared away with everybody but you. You're the man. I've offered you my help because I've always tried to keep the name of Armstrong standing for things that were good in professional wrestling. And two years ago, I know I made a bad mistake. I hurt you bad, and I'm here in front of you today and everybody else to admit I made that mistake and tell you that I'm sorry. Let me make it up to you. I know the problems you're having today. I know you need help in every day. I hope you can see it because I feel stronger. I feel surges of strength coming back and I ain't going nowhere or doing nothing else till you say yes, bud. You don't even have to ask me. Just say, okay, I'll be by your side. We'll fight through hell or high water, thick or thin, and I'll never leave you. And we'll settle three bad situations that you've got right now. Let me help you, stud. Okay. Listen, let me just let me just say this. I I don't want anybody pushing me. I don't want anybody pressuring me. I don't like the idea of you even showing this thing with Bob Armstrong two weeks in a row now. I'll have nothing to do with Bob Armstrong. I got one of the best partners in the world, and he's the man I'm going to have as a partner. I don't care who likes. a couple of times, and I think Ron's exactly the right thing. Okay. Um, certainly Rick's had his problems with Bob Armstrong, as has Ron Fuller, but um, I, too, remember some tough times with Bob Armstrong, but uh, I've had a lot of talks with the man, and uh, Bob Armstrong, I think, has his head on straight, and uh, certainly coming as close to death as he did with that accident recently, uh, it does make a man think a lot. Seen. Right now, we're about ready for our television main event to get underway. Let's go to the ring. <laughs> 